Alright, coming back from the Devilon's Tunnel. We have to go here. Alright, I might flip, but... Oh. Ooh. Yeah, this is pretty sketchy. But... Just fine. This is not the easiest. Not for everyone. I can swear that my prayers have been answered. I mean, we can see, look, clear skies. Trails are getting nice, the temperature is nice. And look up, sun's shining, clouds are out, and away. They're out of the sky. We're going, driving slowly back to camp. We're gonna be wrapping up this adventure shortly but yeah look how nice it is the weather's gone really really nice especially with the sun shining now see like right here it's peeking through the trees this is awesome gonna keep going and well it's gonna keep going on trail I think 59 or 54 this is or, uh, I don't know I think it's 54 or something then we're gonna go on 59 and back to Hatfield's hideout in McCart Kentucky but yep now that it's crazy how the weather in the morning was so terrible uh oh, oh, backfiring. <laughs> These things backfire, I don't know why. Yeah, 54. to have the sun again it was so bad the weather was the worst you could ask for in the morning it was raining it was windy it was cold it was like dead it was everything was wet now it's a little bit nicer trails are still wet and yeah our quads are freaking mudded absolutely mudded can't imagine seeing my under flare under fenders but still super 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 nice oh I got some rocks now we're just gonna keep going until we get back. Oh, keep going. Oh shoot. On. Oh, it's rough. Oh shoot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> little splash. Oh. We're back on the Suzuki King Quad. Oh my gosh. So this thing rides a little rougher. You can tell with the suspension. But the engine, oh my god. Like the shifter is so much smoother. Like I can, can I can tell it's a little bit harder with the handlebars, but even the suspension, like it just kind of soaks up the smaller things better. The engine, the oh my gosh, it runs so smooth. 
Yeah, the bigger bumps, it's harder to soak it up and... I do not feel like I'm abusing this thing in any way. Oh yeah, I have the mirror. There we go. Can see a little bit behind. Having mirror is a good thing. But, oh my gosh. <laughs> and this thing's so quiet. Oh crap. Yeah, I can hear my dad in the back. I can hear the straight piped grizzly. Yeah, here Suzuki doesn't have that crappy quality control that Yamaha has. This like I, I hear my dad. I hear the exhaust of the Grizzly in the back more than I hear the engine of this thing. Oh crap, well standing up, the handlebars are a little bit lower. Dang. <laughs> the engine is just so much smoother. My dad coming. There he is. But oh my gosh, though. This thing is pumpy. This thing pumps out. It's it's more predictable, honestly. It pumps out perfect power. Like, dude, on the small bumps, it actually soaks it up better. Surprisingly. I don't feel like I'm abusing it as much. Not having power steering doesn't bother me all that much. You know, it is nice to have it, but this, I haven't had a huge issue. I mean, if this thing had power steering, honestly, wow. I just realized just how good this thing handles. This thing, this thing actually isn't all that vague around the corners. Oh, splash. Oh, my dad's in the back there. I think it's harder for him with the backpack and the cargo box. Oh, the front. Oh, yeah, the fluid. The brake fluid is low. I was like, yeah, why is the brake not really going in as much? I'm gonna throw her in four wheel drive. There we go. There's some, still some trail damage after the last night's storm. Oh yeah, the, the handling's way different now because of the power steering. It's not existent in this thing. But it is on the Grizzly. So yeah, definitely the turning is a little different. I can I can barely feel the rotations of this engine. It's just like in the Yamahas you feel the pulse much harder. Here this thing just purrs. It's like a V8. This thing drives like a V8. It's like you put literally like a mini tiny little V8 in here. That's how it drives. Oh my gosh, that grizzly sounds like a side-by-side. -side. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So I know well how to get back. Holy crap, the acceleration. Like the throttle is in a better position in fact. It's a little bit more back. Oh, yeah. The Grizzly's throttle, like I have to extend my thumb a little bit more. And I like how the four wheel drive is like right on top of the bar instead of in front of it. So I don't have to reach out with my thumb. I just have to put it up. Like a lot of people say these the two machines are very similar. Yes, indeed, they actually are. They are quite similar, but in, when, in, like when it comes to like driving them, depends on the, the way you drive them. If you're driving it you know, like half hill McCoys, then there's going to be a lot of differences. And like slower, sometimes when you're going really slow or really fast, then I, I don't notice as much of a difference. But like here where there's a lot of technical turns, you gotta like you have to give a lot of gas, a lot of brakes, stuff like that. You feel more differences. And you know, is there really a better one when it comes to this type of driving even? No, there's no better one. They're different, but I don't think anyone's better. Splish Splash. Oh, if there's no one else, I have to kind of... Oh, oh. Take the outside line. Yeah, I kind of notice now why uh, older king quads like these have their bushings go out. Because like with this kind of rough riding, the bushings kind of get worn out with the stiff suspension. Like whenever I'm kind of like giving it a low throttle to kind of like lessen the engine braking down hills, I feel like for the Grizzly it's more of a chore. And especially like gassing it going up hills, for the Grizzly it's more of a chore. For the King Quad it just goes naturally, the, the throttle, it just drives more naturally. It gives you a more raw experience, definitely. Like this thing just pulls. Surprisingly, I actually have found myself to need a stand more on the Grizzly. For example, going through these sections of the trail. I've had to stand up more on the Grizz. But definitely though, the power steering makes for easier turning like with the king quad here no power steering i kind of feel like sometimes uh, i like oversteer or understeer a little bit like i turn too much or too little and i kind of have to correct myself the grizzly i just feel like i can steer more naturally however the amount of input i put in is just exactly what i need so uh, it's so good to be back on this old baby seat is harder but it still drives well you know it's a little bit more of a workout for your arms but it's actually not too bad not as bad as I'd expect I've been driving this for a while now and oh yeah see that's what I meant like on any turn or whatever I have to kind of often correct myself or, or else I could flip that does sounds like a side-by-side -side. <laughs> What could I have done to possibly make the exhaust fall off though? I mean, I knew it was a little, the muffler was a little rusty and the exhaust tip, it had a little hole at the end from the rust. But I did not expect it to like completely rust down in almost a perfect circle just to fall off. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, King Quad's also geared really well. I think like low gear in Yamaha is really for like the low stuff, you know. At these at these speeds, I, I'm fine using low gear in the King Quad. I'm on the Grizzly. Uh, these speeds, it feels more a little bit like a chore. A little higher RPMs. Maybe it's just because I hear the engine more because the exhaust is like kind of cut off. Because I didn't have that. I didn't have that feeling earlier. You know, when uh, before that exhaust fell off. So maybe that's what it is. Oh yeah, this is rough. Yeah, especially with four wheel drive, it's just like, I give a little bit of input and it, uh, it's like, I have to give a little bit more and then once I give that little bit more, it just kind of goes a little bit too much. Yeah, and oh, like that. You know, at the Grizzly, you just turn and that's what it is. Is it me or is it, is it veering off a little bit right? Yeah, so that's weird. Have to force it? Oh, that's left a little bit right. The Grizzly, I could probably like change my line sometimes. Even here, I don't feel comfortable doing that because, yeah. Whoa. Ah, she rips. 